Hey y'all, it's Mary, and I was challenged by Lori Latimer to do a three product makeup look that you would feel comfortable leaving the house with. Um, I'm a little late to the game because I've been behind on videos and I just saw Lori's video. And Smudge is gonna have to move out of the way and come over here or get off the, I'll get off altogether, get off. <laughs> Um, this is the first time really I think he's come up here by himself. Maybe maybe not. But anyway, I chose um, I have under eye um, circles or discoloration, whatever you call it. You know, dark circles, dark under. So um, I work with that all the time. And um, I chose to, do, to use that. So I'm going to do that um, will be my first product. Okay, smudge out of the way. And this just happens to be, I don't necessarily have a favorite. Um, this is just something that I found at TJ Maxx um, uh, for like three or four dollars. Um, and I got a couple of them. Actually, this one's nearing the end. This is L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable, it says. And it, it's a, a sponge tip and there was product in here. And you see as I, as I, I go, it, it uses up. So, or whatever the product was. But anyway, I don't, um, as much as right in my way. Um, I just put it under my eyes like this. And then I'll blend it in. And now, being that I only can use, normally I use a, um, for my foundation, I use a, a powder foundation. All right, smudge gone. <laughs> and I'm not gonna use that today because um, I feel comfortable going to the store or uh, running errands without foundation on. Um, I'm looking a little red today. It might not be the best, um, but anyway, <laughs> a little uh, um, not enough sleep. Um, so, but because I'm keeping it to three products per um, Lori, um, this I would use to cover any blemishes. So I do happen to have a little something going on over here so instead of having foundation, I would use this. So just would do that. And if I had to use a, my um, blender sponge, I would to, to blend it in. If I didn't, you know, if I was out and about and ooh, only have a couple things in my purse and had to whip up something, this is what I would do. And then I have this product, which I actually have never used before, but because of this challenge, I'm using it. It's called Ilia. Can you see the name there? Ilia. Um, this is says it's multi-stick, it's a multi-use product. This product I got in my Fab Fit Fun Mystery Bundle that I lost um, to, to Johanna Masonette. And um, uh, I then after I complained about that mystery bundle, several people told me this was a really excellent product and that it was quite valuable. I think when I looked it up, it was valid at $38, or maybe it was $48. But anyway, it's supposed to be for multi-use. So it's a nice a nice um, stick, and it is um, a good color for a lot of people. See, it rolls up like that. You can use this on your cheeks. You can use it on your lips. So I thought it would be a good thing for this, because if you're going to be stuck with just three products, you want to, if you can, be able to use them for multi-reasons. Um, multi you know, so, um, so this I'm going to try. Let's see how it does on my lips. Sort of how to, to do this when you're looking in a mirror. I don't know. Yeah, it, it, it's very plain, but it works for my lips. Um, now, you know, um, Lori's challenge was so that you would feel comfortable going out of the house. Honestly, I will go out of the house with absolutely nothing on. Um, I do prefer to have a little something on, but normally what I would use is the under eye stuff and a foundation, which is I use powder. And then I could go out without doing my eyes or anything. But um, because I want to look a little bit more presentable, I thought I would try this. Now, um, how this is going to work on my cheeks, I don't know because I don't ever use a cream blush and after putting that on my lips like that I probably should have brought me a brush um, over here I don't really necessarily want to put that on my cheeks so I'm just gonna try I'm not sure how this is gonna work but um, I don't know what do you think because it's a little odd oh yeah it is it's coloring now 
it sort of is odd. The, um, I'll show you what I mean. Um, I'm rubbing this like this and there's not very much on my finger. Um, and like I said, it's, it, well, you know, it's, it's a little odd. It does look good. I do like the color on my lips. Um, normally I wouldn't be bent over like this, so my hair wouldn't be in my way constantly. But I'll just rub that into my cheeks a little bit. And oftentimes my cheeks are already pink. So that's why I don't have to necessarily mess with a, with a blush if I'm just running out of the house. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. But um, I will continue, since I've already used this, I was going to maybe give it away, but uh, it's mine now because I've used it. Um, and, but really the most important thing to me, now without masks, I do like to wear lipstick. And um, this is a good lipstick. It's uh, very, the nice thing about it, it's not too bright, so it won't bring out a lot of, you know, it won't show that I don't have much else on. I, the most important thing to me for wanting to look decent enough to go outside, even though I will go outside like this, is mascara. I, my favorite, if you said you can only have one thing, I would pick, a lot of people would pick lipstick, I would pick mascara. Um, this mascara I got um, in a giveaway. I won it, I believe. It is the Punk Volumizer Mascara from Deuce. And I love this. It's an, um, small, I wish it was big because I want to have a lot. I wish I had 10 of these. It, um, it's just really good. It has a great brush, a, a, a great wand. And um, like I said, this is sort of hard to do. Maybe I should find my little, this might work better to use this, to use this one. Um, it just really um, covers my lashes well. I do like an eyeliner also, and I will use um, a pencil eyeliner. I will use um, some of the eyeliners that are, um, some sticks that are meant to be eyeshadows. I use them sometimes for eyeliners like copper. I love a copper eyeliner. Um, if I'm not gonna wear any eyeshadow, it, it does great for color. I just got that all over my mirror. Um, but I like, uh, I have, um, very, very light colored eyelashes. They're blonde, so I like mascara. And you can see I got, I've gotten that all over me for some, somehow, somehow I managed to get that all over me. But, um, and I don't know why, why do I do all that with my eye, when I'm doing my eyes? <laughs> I am making a mess, getting it all over me, y'all. Sorry about that. Anyway, so this was a, this is a lot of fun. Um, Lori had already been, she already did the five minute makeup challenge. So she created this challenge to do something different. Um, and she tagged um, six or seven of us. And then from there we'll tag people. So, and I, um, I think she posted that about a week ago and I'm so far behind and I don't mean to be, but I am. So, I'm gonna tag some people. They may have already been tagged by the other ones that have done it. I did see that Kim um, from Kimmy's Boxes has done this already. And she challenged people that I would challenge as well. So um, I will challenge a few others and they may have already been challenged. So if you've been challenged, you know, great. If you don't wanna do it, that's fine too. If you wanna do it and you haven't been challenged, please do it and just let us know so that we can watch you. Um, so uh, there it is. That's it. I, I would go out of the house like this. Oops, that looks like I have one. I do have that one eyelash, that one section of eyelash over here that stands up really tall. And then this I have to sort of work with to get to stand up tall. But anyway, okay, anyway, um, so that's, that's what I would use is under eye and then I could use it for any blemishes some multi-purpose type of a lipstick blush combo and honestly some of these you can even put some on your eye, eyelid depending on what you're using and mascara okay so that's that's my three products and I am going to tag and like I said if I've if you've already been tagged um, then that's great um, if you don't want to do it that's great too if you don't get tagged by an, by an, anybody and you want to do it, please do it. And just, uh, you know, just let us all know. We'll see your video. So I'm going to tag um, Johanna Masonette. Her channel is JM Unboxing and More. 
And um, I'm also going to tag Wendy, um, Wendy Jean. Uh, Wendy Jean is a sweetheart. She's a new channel. Um, Y'all, I'm going to, um, I haven't done a Sunday shout out in a little while. I'm going to be um, doing um, one next week and I'm going to be shouting out Wendy Jean. So um, you can get a chance to know her before then if you'd like. She's a sweetheart. And again, all these names, any name that I mentioned will be in the description box. Um, she's super sweet. She's an unboxer and she also likes to cook and she shows us some of her recipes. And then I'm going to tag um, Lois from um, Life with Lois's. And I'm gonna tag Katie from Katie's Corner of the World. And um, uh, I tagged her in the five minute uh, makeup challenge and um, she may like this one as well. So um, did I say Teresa Starship too? I wanna tag Teresa Starship, <laughs> okay. So that's who I'm tagging is um, Johanna Masonette, JM Unboxing and More, um, Teresa Starship, Wendy Jean, uh, Lo Lois, Life with Lois's, and um, Katie's Corner of the World, okay? And um, thank you all so much. This was a lot of fun. Thank you, Lori. This was fun. Something different. You know, um, the challenges are fun. Um, I'm not a big makeup person, as you all know, but um, for people like me that are not a big makeup person, just a couple little items like this can help you just, you know, feel like, oh, yeah, I can go to the store and not look, you know, like um, I just roll out of bed. Or um, I think the way... Um, the way uh, Lori put it, it was funny. She said that, that I look like I'm alive <laughs> so uh, with a little bit of something on. So thank you all so much for coming by and count your blessings. Bye-bye.